the 2024 Mizano E Prix. Lights out and we're racing. Good start then from Mitch Evans. Not bad also from John Rivers. They head down towards the first corner. Three wide already in the background. Who's going to take the lead into T1? Mitch Evans just holds firm on the outside there. Pascal Verlein looking to try and challenge against Stoffel Van Dorn. Side by side they all go. Is it Concertina's up here through turns two and turn three? Crucially, they all managed to make it through the first few corners relatively okay. The upshot is it's Mitch Evans out in front here. Yeah, I think you could see there that nobody wanted to take a risk through two and three and four. I guess, Karun, this just changes the mentality completely about how they want to do these early stages of the race. But look at them now. They're three wide because you have to try and stay safe into eight, nine for the first time. Oh, it's just about managing to hold on there is Mitch Evans into the lead. But we've got a Mahindra that's gone off. Edo Mortara, his weekend has gone from bad to worse. Is oh, a contact there? Was that? That, that was. Uh, and more contact. Yeah, more contact there. You've got Vern, Cassidy, Evans in there. Yeah, damage there to uh, Nick Cassidy as well. So problems here for Nick Cassidy. The front wing rubbing on the front right hand tyre. Maybe a pit stop might be looming here. But let's have another look there. So into turn eight and nine. Oh, just hip and shoulder through there, wasn't it? Yeah, just didn't have enough space for the two cars to make it through. Oh, we're just hearing that Pascal Verlo's got front wing damage, and he has. He's right at the back of the field now. His he's front in. wing's come off. He's going to be coming into the pit lane. So problems for the championship leader here as well. The top two in the title go into the pits. So the two Porsches are right up the shop. And oh, oh, he just goes over the back of Vern. Yeah. By the rate this race is going, it's going to be easy to work out who hasn't got damaged by the checkered flag. Oh, side by side, three wide in the uh, background Ooh. there as well. And Bird's just going to get ruffled out a little bit here. Is that going to cost him a bit of time? Maybe a position or two as Vern goes to the outside. He's going to try and pick the pocket of everybody into the first corner. Is he going to sweep into the lead? He does. What is interesting is how the energy levels are all about the same, isn't it? They're all within a percent of each other. Oh, oh, oh look at Gunter. that. Gunter pulled a wheelie. That, that's the same car that took a whack on a curb. Let's have another look at this curb cam. Way! Oh, I thought he was going to take the camera out then, to be honest with you. I flinched as he went through. Oh, oh Sam Bird's got a puncture. He has, yeah. Left rear puncture for Sam Bird. And oh, that is such a shame. Must have been some contact. It's either Radio. suspension or... I'm not sure. I got a tap from the back. As we go for the lead here, Antonio Felix da Costa side by side with Oliver Rowland on the exit of turn five. Da Costa it is that takes the lead away. In the pit lane. Stopped. Vern, very, very uh, damaged car. You saw Dennis there jinking to the outside and looking for a challenge as Vern goes defensive into turn 12. Can he hold firm for now? Yes, he can. But all this is allowing is the likes of Roland and da Costa up in front to just build out more of an advantage as we come through into start the final lap here, David. It's great, isn't it? It's great to see they bolted, haven't they? Vern just doesn't have the confidence, the energy, or the performance to go with them. So this is a roll of the dice between Costa, da Costa and Roland for who's going to win this. And Dennis shouldn't take any risks because we've got that penalty coming, of course, for Jeff yeah. here. So he, he sh Dennis just needs to stay where he is, hope he doesn't come vulnerable to Gunther. The battle is for the win. Look at this, Gunther in, in, is going to get fought, that's for sure. But up front, Roland in the slipstream behind Da Costa. Yeah, this is looking pretty close here. We are looking like we're going to be six from six in Formula E in 2024 through into turn seven. We go on board with Antonio Felix Da Costa, who's got Oliver Rowland very, very close for company behind, but Rowland not within touching distance to try and launch an attack on the brakes into turn eight. Into that corner we go, and no room at the inn for him for the time being. The yellow flag is out for some reason on the track. That's down at turn seven, so someone's come a cropper on the final stages of this one. And it is Antonio Felix da Costa who is commanding this as we head into the final sector in the Tag Heuer Porsche through into turn 12. And unless da Costa makes a mistake, unless Roland can try and invent something and maybe go for a last gas lunge at the final corner, I think this is going to go the way of the Portuguese driver, Antonio Felix da Costa. He's been in all the headlines this week, but he comes around the final corner in the Tag Heuer Porsche to win the Mazzano e Prix. A fantastic drive from Antonio Felix da Costa. Six winners from okay, six races in 2024. Well, here is confirmation of round six of the Mazzano e Prix. Antonio Felix da Costa takes the chequered flag from Oliver Rowland and Jake Dennis. Maximilian Gunter just missing out ahead of Dan Tictum in the ERT. Then Mitch Evans, Sergio Sete Camera, Jean-Eric Verne, Norman Nato, 
Vor Andretti inside the top 10 there as well, and Stoffel van Dorn as well in 10th uh, position. And here is the Drivers' Championship. It is Oliver Rowland now that leads the way. Four consecutive podiums, despite having not won a race so far in 2024. Jake Dennis snapping at his heels there in second place with Pascal Verlein now, of course, no points on the board for him. Drops down to third position. And you've got Cassidy and Gunter very close for company, just behind the German driver as well. What a job from Team Porsche. What a job from this man, Antonio Felix da Costa. Absolute delight. His first visit to the podium this year, and it is to the top step. What a way to answer any speculation.